This is an update in regards to the CD, Sony CD Mavica 400. I think that's what it's, uh, CD 400. So the user wanted to know the power supply for the item. So this is the power supply. I took pictures of it. So at the end, you'll see a slideshow and it'll have the model number. I mean, you could jot it down right here if you want. But at the end, I have some stills. Uh, this is the way it looks. It's a weird looking power supply. Um, this is old. This camera is, I believe, from the 90s. I've used it. I used it forever. I mean, one of my projects that I used this for that I loved was I actually took a picture of my son when he was first born every day for the first year of his life. And then at the end, I did a slideshow. That was pretty cool. So um, I used this camera for that. That was in 2004. And, uh, but I was using it way before that. I think in the 90s it came out. I forget when it came out. So this is the actual plug itself. This is also at the end. It's an odd looking plug. It's a proprietary adapter. And I'll have pictures at the end for details in regards to it. And how you plug it in is here on the side. See, DC in. You open this up. And then you plug it in. Oh, sorry, wrong way. You plug in this thing here. And let me see which way. Okay, it goes with this side down. Okay, and that's it. And then you plug it in. And you charge the camera. But you have to put the battery in there. So this is the battery itself. Again, I have pictures of this. This is the model number. They still sell them today because Sony has other devices that uses, use these batteries. But just to give you a heads up, if you have this camera and you're using these batteries, you don't need the adapter. You could charge these batteries separately on its own charger. That's what I do. I just keep this because it came with the camera when I purchased it. So I just keep it around. I still have it. I love it. I love it. I still have it around uh, and it takes mini discs. I don't think I have one in there. Let me see. Nope. So it takes mini disc. And my biggest problem is that a lot of CD tr ROM trays, the old ones read it with no problems at all, but a lot of newer CD ROM or Blu ray, it's very difficult to get it to read the mini disc. Some of them just don't come, I guess, with the firmware, hardware, or software that allows you to read it. Uh, some do. There was one specific computer. I still have an old one. Uh, it, uh, Windows 7 still that actually reads it. So that's another difficult part. Um, or you could do what I did sometimes. So again, the power, let me unplug it. What I did was I used a mini, mini connection. This mini USB connection here. That goes here on the side. Uh, let me see right here where it says USB. And you can connect the mini USB to the computer. But again, Windows 10, <laughs> not very friendly to this. So I have a Windows 7 machine just for old time stuff like this that Windows 10 really just doesn't work with anymore uh, uh, for whatever reason. So, um, that's what I do to get the data off. I've had it forever. I love this thing. We never ever sell it. So that's the power supply. So I hope uh, this helps the user who requested the power supply info. Uh, if you have any other further, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask below. Thank you.
what speed to the city streets we began to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in Do it 